Shinanomachi in northern Nagano is an outdoor lover's paradise. Surrounded by mountains and centered around a lake, there are plenty of things to do all year round. Snow activities dominate in the winter, hiking and camping are popular in the warmer months, while local delicacies and traditional craft can be enjoyed throughout the year. My name is Reina Ong, staff writer for japanguide.com. Here's the trip itinerary. From Tokyo, we'll take the Shinkansen to Nagano, where we'll transfer to the Shinano Railway to Kurohime Station in Shinanomachi. First, we'll visit a haiku museum and then a knife forge. For lunch, we'll make our own soba noodles and afterwards, we'll spend the afternoon snowshoeing at a local ski park before going to our accommodation for the night. Day two will be spent fishing in the morning, then having lunch at a local restaurant and guest house called Lamp. And finally visiting a sake brewery before catching our train back home. So follow along as I experience an undiscovered part of Nagano, the town of Shinanomachi. Day one. We're here in Shiranomachi where we'll be for two days and follow along as we look forward to wintry views and local delights. One of the traditional crafts that Shinanomachi is known for is knives, known as Shinshu Uchihamono. Now we're at a forge and we're gonna see how one is made. We're at the Kurohime Fairy Tale Museum where I'm going snowshoeing for the first time! So my rental gear I've got from the rental shop over there and on this trip we're going to the lake and back. Staying at a resort hotel in Shinanomachi tonight, where there's ski slopes out at the back, as well as an onsen and an indoor pool. And tomorrow I'll be going to explore Nojiri Lake as well as a sake brewery. Hope I don't freeze! Day 2 There are a bunch of activities that you can do on Nojiri Lake and in the winter right now, Wakasagi fishing is one of them. That's the boat I'm gonna go on, so follow me.
I'm at a local sake brewery in Shinanomachi and I'm going to learn about how sake is made and hopefully I'll get to taste some at the end. This ends my short visit to Shinanomachi, one that you also could do as a weekend trip. For more information about Shinanomachi or to watch another video, click the links on the screen now or head over to japanguide.com, your comprehensive, up-to-date travel guide firsthand from Japan. Thanks for watching and be sure to subscribe for more videos about Japan. Happy travels!